So there was a lot of sailor speak and some moaning and groaning to get that hose on there. It's tight. Uh, I ate my weedies this morning. Tried to record some video this morning working in the forward cabin but uh, it's Saturday morning so uh, the local lawn tractors were out in full force and then I come out here to do this and uh, just as it got started the whippersnappers come out so I know it's bad enough there's a fan noise in the background but I try to uh, keep the noise to a minimum so this is a last drop seal. Um, I actually did read the instructions. They're very simple, straightforward. There's not much to it. Uh, the one thing I couldn't do was get the shaft seal to uh, slide on over the shaft while it was in the retainer. So I took it off and I popped the seal out and uh, put the, the, there's a cutlass bearing in here. It goes back a bit this far. Uh, it keeps everything lined up and uh, put it on and then pop the shaft seal in and it worked perfectly so this is a spare that's going to go on the shaft and uh, so if you ever blow that seal you can probably do, cut it in half and just slide this one into place so um, I should write that part number down and I'll order a few spares and bye I gotta run down below and push the shaft back in. And, um, not strong enough with my hands to pull it, so stand by. There's uh, an internal locking ring. That's what I'm tightening up right now. That uh, holds the shaft in place. There's no keyway or anything like that. It's a pure friction fit. So I've never actually torqued this thing down and had it actually grab onto the shaft yet. You see it's still pretty free floating there right now.
so I think I'm gonna have to uh, do something to lock the the Python drive into place so that when I torque it it doesn't spin so after much cursing and swearing I couldn't figure out why these bolts wouldn't line up in the backing plate and I did a lot of head scratching and some navel gazing and some thinking and then it occurred to me to take this take this plate and flip it and once I did that I lined right up um, the other thing I had to do is uh, put the prop on the back and jam it up so that I can torque these bolts without well, it spinning so let's hope this works give it a shot I'm guessing that uh, this jam clamp, call it whatever you want to call it, is uh, slowly grabbing onto the shaft. So I'm going to let it sit for a minute and then come back and retorque it. Yeah, so you don't need too much of this stuff. Oh, Jesus. I guess that'll do it. <laughs> So the next challenge will be is to uh, put the jack shaft in which will attach the engine to the python drive. Just attaching the first CV joint to the uh, adapter flange on the engine. I'm not going to torque it in just yet.
Oops. I forgot to turn the camera on. Missing a lock washer. So we'll go looking for that later. I don't know why there are two colored two colored bolts, one gold colored and one black. The blacks are a little shorter, so <coughs> used up all the long ones. with these shorter black ones until I can find more. I guess I'm just going to torque them all up and uh, there you have it folks the uh, drive line is complete our last drop shaft seal is in our python drive is in perfectly lined up our jack shaft goes to the engine attached by an adapter there you go that's it thanks for looking in appreciate it Stand by.